What's up guys? All the content creators out there, anyone in social media, entrepreneurs, anyone making videos, content, audio content, I'm talking about the one sound effects music, royalty free music, copyright free music that you can use on any of your content in this episode. I'm talking about the site that I use today, why I like it compared to some of the ones that are out there and what it's done for my content so far. Let's go right now. I think you guys are gonna enjoy this one. If you're a content creator, you guys already know what sound effects can do, what sound design can do for your video. Here's a quick example. Here's a clip that is just of me talking, no sound effects, nothing going on. One sec, there's one thing missing. That's better. Now here's a clip with sound design on that exact same video. One sec, there's one thing missing. That's better. It's crazy the difference that sound effects can make on just the simplest of videos, specifically if you're making content for things like TikTok or for YouTube or Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever it is, the smallest amount of sound design takes your content from here all the way to here. Now I have used a lot of the stock music and sound effect websites that are out there. I've had a subscription to most of them and I've settled on one. Now, if you haven't seen it already, it's right behind me. It's right here, artlist.io. Now, before I continue, I am not paid to do this video by artlist.io. This is just my opinion based on what I have seen so far and the different sites where I can download my sound effects and my copyright free music. So the main thing I like about artlist.io it's just, it's easy to use. It's a very, very simple design and it always tells you what is new. So you can see all of these new tracks that they keep putting out. I find that sometimes they're remakes of some of their old tracks, but it allows you when you exhaust making lots of content and you're using the same tracks over and over again to really identify what's new and, and what's going to take your content, your new content to the next level. The other thing I like in talking about the simplicity further, when you're browsing, it does a really, really, really good job of sorting the sound effects and music content by mood, by video theme, by genre, and by instrument. So it allows me, let's say I'm making a video and it's, it's going to be something where I want something to be powerful. And then by theme, I am dealing with a video that's in food and the instrument I really want or the thing I'm looking for is claps and snaps. When I do that, it brings up some of that content that would work for me. And if I just check on the first one, Nice. Now, if you're going to download and you want to download that song, you can see here that I got a couple already downloaded that were in my cart that are in my files. You're just going to click that download button for it to go into your cart. So if I do that now, once it's in the cart, you're going to click checkout. It's going to send you an email to download, or you can go to your library where you can download your MP3 or WAV file. Now sound effects have the same thing. It depends what you're looking for, your whooshes and transitions, your science fiction, your technology, your city. City is one that I always try to find. It's, it's pretty tough to find some good city skyline type sounds. So on something like that, here we got high hill near beach, distant traffic. Like those sound effects are hard to find. They're, they're difficult to get really good quality sound effects that are gonna take your content to the next level. So guys, I just wanted to open the license agreement and talk about a couple other things that I love. When going through it, one of the things that I love is this line right here. The license to use is valid in perpetuity if the works were downloaded with a valid subscription. That gives me confidence 
that the works, if I'm using it within their licensing agreement, is going to be something I can have in my videos for a long time. Now they do say some things in here that they can take take tracks and sound effects off and on at their will and things like that. But if you download it with a valid subscription, it's valid in perpetuity. Great. One of the limitations of use, obviously you can't sell or transfer this these tracks and sound effects, but this is a good one to note. I hereby undertake not to make any use of the works in themselves, but only to integrate and synchronize them with other projects. So you can mix the tracks, you can take the sound effects, you can put them into your own project. It's not a project in itself. Listen, I'm not talking about this licensing agreement in terms of legal sense. I just wanted to say that a lot of what's in it makes sense for building that YouTube content, for building that social media content. It's what you need in order to take your content to the next level. I mean, I've said to the next level, to the next level, to the next level a hundred times in this video already, but that's what sound effects and music can do. Guys, in summary, there's tons of other music and sound effects sites out there. There's premium beat, sound stripe, you got epidemic, which we hear all the time talked about. There's Invado Elements on a more basic form. There's so many other options out there. This is just my opinion, just on using some of them. I've enjoyed Artlist.io. I think it's simple to use. It gives you a good variety of tracks and they keep putting new stuff on all the time, which keeps refreshing your ability to make new content. So that's it for this episode. I hope you guys got some value from it. I hope you guys check it out if you're looking for that first site. It may help. Obviously, I'm going to put some links below, which will help you navigate to artlist.io. Otherwise, you can just do that Google search or they'll retarget to you probably after this video with ads right on YouTube. If you do sign up, make sure you let me know in the comments below what you think of it. I'm always interested to get more feedback after I do episodes and recommendations like this so that I can keep improving and so that I know I'm using the right products as well. That's it for this episode. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one.